Alright, welcome back for some more Kingdom Come Deliverance. Today we continue the main plot line. We are looking for things in Sasal. Namely, we are looking for... So I, I screwed up somehow and Captain Bernard, I, don't ask, I don't know. He wouldn't spawn when I got back, so I'm hopefully, hopefully he'll, he'll unbug himself. At some point, I'll go back over and talk to him. Uh, we're looking for the Rocketeer first, and then we'll go deal with the Dr. Conrad Keezer. All right, so I imagine right off the bat, he's a good place to ask will be a pub. <clears throat> Maybe he's even at the pub. We shall see. So, any of these people happen to be that guy? Fresco, Master, Townsman, that would be too dang easy, wouldn't it? Anybody in here? I'm glad you stopped by. Yeah, everybody's glad I randomly stopped by. Nope, none of those guys. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. Do you happen to know the whereabouts of Conrad Keezer? And what do you want from the old buzzard? Never mind, what do I care? It's the big house, in the courtyard, by the monastery. Oh. Alright, well that was easy enough. Big house, courtyard, monastery. We're gonna keep our helmet on in the eight. Something to eat. Yep, we're just gonna do that. That's fine. That's totally acceptable medieval behavior. Huh. The house in the middle of the courtyard. Oh no. There we go. Well, that's convenient. That dude was naked. Did you see that? House in the middle of the courtyard. So, that's the, mon that's the hospital. It's going to be out here, isn't it? That's a small chapel. I guess maybe it's a house. I don't know. No, it would be this, the big house. This has to be it, right? We make the assumption. Oh, come on. What are you trying on here? I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Is this where Conrad Kieser lives? Indeed. The world-renowned Conrad Kieser. World-renowned? If not yet, then soon. Our Master Kieser is a mastermind. You wouldn't believe the things he comes up with. You'll be hearing more of him. You mark my words. Okay. I need to speak to him. Oh, really? Whatever for. Let's see. So our speech is well over. Our... Well, that's all we get. I don't even... What is that? I'm a fellow thinker, and I'd like to discuss my hypotheses with Master Kieser. <laughs> and what ones would those be, exactly? Stronghold construction. I have this new idea for building, and a chat with the Master would be very valuable. That sounds important. Come on in. The master's inside. Here's the key. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, my, my, my updates are randomly updating. I know that he needs uh, various and sundry things. All right. Cutscene? Did I go to the right door? Enter. And uh, Ooh. Wow. Huh. By the horn of Joshua, you startled me. I thought you were urban. 
What do you want? Okay. Well, one, I need Sir, your help. Tobias Fafar, the master builder and engineer from Scalitz, sends his greetings. Fafar? Tobias Fafar? I've heard of him. He invented an interesting mining machine. Uh, what does he need? Sir, have you heard what's been going on in Talmberg? I've heard a thing or two. Is it true the castle's been taken? Indeed. It has, and we want to take it back. Master Fafar has been given the task of building a trebuchet, but he's not sure he can manage it. I doubt it myself. Uh, building siege engines is an entirely different kettle of fish than mining. Damn. I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's. But that can't be done with a quill and parchment, and I can't leave here right now. Why can't you leave? That's a long story. I was a little, uh, more than a little, critical of Sigismund's efforts at Nicopolis. And it might surprise you to know, after that defeat, he didn't particularly appreciate my criticism. Then when Sigismund abducted the king, <laughs> I didn't feel too secure in Prague, so I left. Hmm, perhaps left is the wrong word. Uh, some might say I was banished. In any case, I went to Bethlehem Castle. They locked you up in Bethlehem? <laughs> Not quite. It's a royal castle. Uh, they leave me to my own devices there. Frankly, this so-called banishment has been a bit of a blessing. I have peace and quiet to attend to my opus and a band of able assistants. Although I have lost quite a few of my patrons, thanks to all this unrest. And why are you here in Sassar? To be honest, I need the money. Money, sir? You don't seem like a man who lives in want. Dear me, no. I don't need it to support myself. It's to fund my opus. Uh, that's why I agreed to help with the construction of the monastery. So, you see, I can't simply take my leave. Yeah, I'll just pay that if you let me. What is it you're working on, sir? Belly Fortis. A great book of war machines and weapons. My opus magnum. My legacy. All you have seen here are but snippets of my great work. Mark my words. One day, our whole world will be run by machines and inventions not yet dreamed of. <laughs> of course. Any day now, they'll plough our fields and milk our cattle. Uh, what did you say? Oh, uh, nothing. Just thinking aloud about uh, things for battle. Could I help you escape, perhaps? Who <laughs> says I want to? But you said you couldn't leave, sir. Young man, I can't leave because I gave my word I'd help with the building of the monastery here. And my word is my bond. I have no intention of sneaking away like some criminal. Hmm. Who do you work for here? My contract is with the abbot himself. But I discuss the work details with Carol, the monastery's master builder. Could I not just pay off the Master Builder for your services? I doubt it. Carol is only interested in the construction. As long as he has the money to pay the craftsman's wages, that's all he needs. Ah, as long as he has enough for wages, you say. <laughs> don't worry about that, don't worry about that. Couldn't Carol be persuaded somehow? After all, the defence of the province is at stake. I realise that. But Sassar Monastery has always kept its neutrality. Uh, what's more, the abbot isn't here at present, and without his permission, Carol won't be persuaded. But I might have another idea. What do you suggest? Carol received his commission in writing. If you found it, we could, uh, well, we could copy the abbot's seal and signature on our own document. That's a curiously interesting idea. <laughs> My inventiveness has many applications. I could be back here before the abbot, so he won't even know I was gone. How do I get my hands on the commission? It will be somewhere in his quarters. You'll need to get it quickly and put it back before he notices it's gone. 
I suggest waiting until evening. That's when Carol usually goes to the tavern to play dice. He's fond of his dice. Maybe you can take advantage of that somehow. Right. I'll see what I can do. Okay, interesting. Ah, uh, steal the master builder. Carol's key of commission. I think we can do that. We gotta wait till nighttime though. Ugh. Pain in the butt. All right, let's run down here. See if we can identify who Carol is. I want to say this is his home. Been here before. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Oh, it's been a while since I've done this. Uh, there we go. Bandage breeze, that's not it. See, I think this is the right area. All right, Ooh, that's a good one right there. Look at that. Come on. Boom. Yep, you're good. Carol's commission. Okay. All right. I am honored that you should come to me. I need some help from Master Conrad. Then go and talk to him. The thing is, he's already agreed, but he'd have to go to Talmberg. I can't consent to that. He signed a contract for building the monastery, and we pay him a pile of coin for every day he spends here. Okay. No idea how much this would cost. Supposing I compensated you for his brief absence, perhaps with some coin? What use would coin be to me if the monastery roof collapses? Then I'd be the one having to pay compensation. All right. Well, thank you for your invaluable assistance. You're welcome. May God reward you in kind. Good luck to you. Okay. So, we will awkwardly stand here and tango this bad boy. Till night time. And then we will do that. And we will sneak in. We'll do a quick ditty. Doo -doo -doo. He didn't even care that I came from upstairs where all his stuff was. I was just like, what's up, boss? How you doing? <laughs> Let's talk. Let's talk about all the things. All right. Is he gone? <gasps> Alright. Nope. Let's run back over here! There's someone there. I feel like... It is impossible to do anything. They just... Hey, brother. Hey, dude. You in here? Bro? You really should be in here. There we go. God bless you. What troubles you? I've got that commission. Oh, gosh. Don't yell. Oh, so loud. For heaven's sake. Show it here. 
the very thing. Go to the Sassau scribe and say to him, the fox isn't half as clever as he thinks. Then he'll do as you ask. Is that a password? <laughs> Just so. He insists on it. Don't forget to repeat it verbatim and aloud. Then all you have to do is take the new document to Carol and tell him a messenger brought it. All right. But most importantly, do it quickly and put the commission back immediately. Carol's no fool. If he can't find it, he'll put two and two together when you bring him the new document, and the game will be up. Okay. So we gotta head to the scribe like. Mooey mooey, huh? Horse! Ugh. Come on. Yeah. And we have to do this at night too. Because. Here, flip, flip, flip. Sleep near. Found out f yeah. that sleep near is apparently the name of like Odin's horse or some Viking god's eight legged horse. It's pretty impressive, I guess. We are going the wrong way. Yeah. Go, go, go. This way. Oh gosh. Pull. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move. Oh, he, he screwed up. No. Oh! The bridge. We need the bridge. The bridge. Yeah. Alright, now couple places the scribe could be. Ah! Oh! Pfft. Oh, jeez. Where's my horse? I imagine he sleeps and lives ah, down yeah. here. But I'm not 100% sure. I guess they all could be. Oh, watch where you're going, you lout. You nearly killed me. Yes, I did almost kill you. Nope. Father Fabian, nope. Villager, we're just going to check. Yep. Nope, he's locked up for the night. All right. I mean... Get on the horse. I'm gonna yeah. hope he's down here. Strong he is. Uh, I don't exactly remember where it is. I think it's in here, though. All right, let's let's run in here and see. We have a very large. No, brother. Sorry. I need your attention, please. Goodness. Quickly, sir. You. There we go. I have a message for you. Hmm? The fox isn't half as clever. The fox isn't half as clever as it thinks. What? Um... The password about the fox? Oh, boy. What in heaven's name are you blabbering about? Conrad Kieser sent me. Why the hell didn't you say so? That sod. He deliberately lied to me to make me look stupid. 
Well, never mind. <laughs> I love that. I've That's got great. This document here, and I I need to have a different one drawn up with um, the same signature and seal. So Conrad is still up to his old tricks. Give him my greetings. I will. Well, let's see it then. Hmm. All right. Give me an hour. I hope I won't have problems on your account. Very well. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So we're at Tango an hour. Go. And hopefully he will be rounds complete. We'll sort that out. We'll run it back. And the next day, we got to find a doctor. Because that's important too. And then it's off to Ujits. Because Ujits... Don't look at me. Is it done? Here you are. And pass on my best to the old dragon. I'll be with you. All right. Boom. How do I get out of here? This way? All right, off we go. All right, Schleifnir. Let's ride like the wind. This time with the light so we can see what the heck we're doing. Henry, Henry it's good to see you. Yes, I know everybody loves me. It's amazing. Yeah. All right, cross the bridge slowly and carefully. Do not murder yourself. You know what? I feel like I feel like that's just making problems for us. There we go. Now, now we're good. At least I can see. I hope you can see. We're heading past the pub. They're born. Yeah, we need to get that night vision going. You know, do the open field. Yeah. 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 All right, across the bridge into the thing. Quest item. Come on, come on, come on. Hans key, Hans key. Letter from Vranic. Forge leave of absence. Carol's commission. All right, there we go. Carol's commission. Hello, sir. You have no idea what just happened. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I just got out of the suspicious area. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, boy. All right. So now, <laughs> goodness, we, we, we tango it to uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we see if the ruse works. We got that by, like, seconds. That's good, though. That's all that matters. Got to get it by seconds. All right. I'm hoping that if we get the Ujit guy in the dock and he's happy, then I can talk to Divish, potentially, about sorting out the, uh... <clears throat> the... 
the next part of uh, what is it from the ashes because that's really what I want to do I, I'm really excited about that and I want to give that a, a good run I think I've got enough money it's just earning coin over there which is pretty awesome all right we'll leave the helmet off so we can kind of see Henry's face a little bit that'll be good times yeah you're uh, having a hangover aren't you oh get up God be with you a messenger brought a dispatch for you. To the hand of a little charge. To the persistent. Permission to leave Sassau? Hmm. How very convenient for you. It's the hand of fate. We'll see what fate brings. I have an authorization letter of my own from the abbot. And if your letter of patent is fake, you'll be in trouble. Come with me. Well, okay, let's go inside. What, what, what are you doing? Oh, he put his ball down. Look at that. Where are you going? Taking the long way around. Nice pantalones, dude. I guess I should have never talked to him. But... Mm, well, it goes against the grain. But the seal and signature are genuine. Okay. So Conrad may leave? He can. The letter of patent is genuine, and when the abbot commands... Wonderful. I'll tell him. Farewell. And we did it. Farewell. Tell Conrad he can leave. Yeah. And we didn't have to kidnap him. As, uh... Oh, what's his nuts said we might have to. Yeah. There we go. Oh, get off the old horse. Come in here. Sebastian Von Beg. They're off to me. Sweet Jesus, I knew this day would come. What? Who is? Carol said you can leave and... Leave? I can't even set foot outside the door. Not now. Please, calm down and tell me what's going on. <sighs> They're after me. Who? Who's after you? Sigismund's people, of course. Why would they be after you? Because he's never forgiven my criticisms of Nicopolis. Now he's decided to pay me back. Oh, this what dude is truly mad. What makes you think someone's after you? When I was on my way, to Sassau, I saw Baron Pekar in Kostelitz. He was with Sigismund on the crusade, as was I. Now I've been told he was seen at the local tavern. And a stranger's been creeping around the gardens here late at night. My God, there are signs someone was trying to force the door. They're after me, Henry. The Lord preserve me. They want to kill me. Oh. Take it easy. If someone's after you, I'll see to it. I'll have a sniff around the town or lie in wait for him. I don't know. What if he sneaks past you? He won't, I promise. I'll hide in the garden, and if anyone starts creeping around after dark, I'll catch him. You will, won't you? Good, good. And be sure to hide well. If he sees you, he won't come. Oh! Another nighttime mission. Why is everything nighttime? Yeah. All right. Oh boy. Goodness. Oh well, you know we need to eat because we're hungry. That's a thing. 
should just deal with the fire. Yeah, that's what we want to do right there. All right. So let's move Schleipnir out of the way. Old Schleipnir, let's park you. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. You just hang out right there. Now, <laughs> what does this quest want me to do? Find out more about and watch out for the Midnight Assassin. Okay, well, let's let's go. I guess for the time, we can go find out more about or whatever his name is. Yeah. 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 Yep. Okay. Get moving. Yeah. Because we've got plenty of time before a midnight assassin. <laughs> Worst bushes ever. Get out of the way. Yeah, there we go. Just run them over. Nah. I'm sure everybody's glad. Peach near townsman, townsman. Ta oh, Peach here. Jesus Christ be praised. Would you be Master Paycar? Paycar. I would. With whom do I have the pleasure? Henry of Scullets. And what do you want from me, Henry of Scullets? To ask why you've come to Sassau. An interrogation, then, I see. On business, of course. And who is it you're doing business with? <laughs> why don't you ask about my mistresses instead? My trade partners are my own private concern. How about the bit of grubs? Hmm. Okay. Right. I don't want to ask That'll that. Everything. As the master instructs. Yeah, I'm gonna murder you. Farewell. Good health to you. Would there be a master pay car here by any chance? But of course. What's your business with him? Why has he come here? Why so inquisitive? My master is thinking about a trade he proposed. So I'm asking around to see if he can be trusted. He's a decent man. He pays his debts and he's certainly no cheapskate. They say he trades in cloth. Okay. What kind of man is he? People like him well enough. And as for me, well, half my profits are his doing. What does he look like? Oh, he's easy to spot. If I had clothes like his, I'd sell them and live half a year on the takings. Thank you. Okay. Farewell. One ale over here, please. I'll be with you. Do you know anything about a master pay car? Of course. I've played dice with them at the inn. A decent I'll man. Be with you, Henry. Hmm. Well, Master Painter, are you still short of coin? Yes, unfortunately. And my offer still stands. Don't you want to buy something? Or throw a few dice? Well, I forgot what this guy's got to have for sale. What's he got to sale? I mean, I'll buy that for fun. I don't know if I have it. Let's have a word about the price. The the best best hell, mm. Agree? More. What about this? Wow. All right, so. All right, there we go. We'll see if that helps us uh, not be drunk. Alehouse maid. Do you know anything about a master pay car? Of course. 
I've played dice with him a few times at the inn. Decent man. The barmaid is playing dice with the guy. That seems awkward. Good day to you. What do you need? Do you know anything about our master Paycar? It rings a bell. Is he some kind of merchant? Nah, no. That was a man by a similar name. Take care now. God be with you. Do you know anything about our master? Of course. I've played dice with him at the inn. A decent man. Take care now. Well, that's just not great. Do you know anything about... Yep, decent man. So I guess... All the townspeople are gonna say that? Good health to you. Do you know anything about our master Paycar? I'm afraid not. Good luck to you. Jesus Christ be... Do you know anything about... I'm afraid not. Okay. Hmm. Maybe if we go deeper in town. Come back for you, son. Yeah. We check the bathhouse. We never go to the bathhouse. Oh, I forgot how to get into the bathhouse, of course. Here we go. Oh, well, okay, we're good. Wash in a trough. Sort out our charisma a little bit. We're not filthy. Now, talk to her. Do you know anything about a master pay car? Most certainly. They say he's come to do some trading. At least that's what Peter reckoned. Says he played dice with him at the inn. Good luck, then. Okay. That is unfortunate. Hey, is someone there? Yeah, talk to me. Do you know anything about a master? Most certainly. They say he's come to do some trade. All right. God bless. New level in horsemanship. There you go. Let's, day, let's talk to the trader. Hope you're here. Yeah, all right. I like your pants. I want to kill you for them. Good health to you, sir. Do you know anything about... It rings a bell. Is he some kind... No, no. No. <sighs> So clearly, I think there's some reasonable information about this dude. Do you know anything about our master Paycar? Uh, certainly. They say he's come to do some trading. At least that's what Peter read. Who is Peter? Random dude. Come up here and let's see about this tavern. Do we have anybody in here named Peter? <coughs> God be with you, good sir. Do you know anything about a man? Rings a bell. No, no. Take care now. Townsman. I mean, clearly it's this dude, Peter, we got to talk to. The question is. Vo ist Peter. Oh, the cloth merchant, right? Is there a cloth merchant here? Yeah. No. 
Down the road, go, go, go. Here we are. All right. Let's crash our horse into a wall because he's tough like that. Art thou Peter? You Welcome, Henry. Better be Peter. No, you're not Peter. Good day to you. Do you know anything about a must? It rings a bell. No. Uh, you got anything new? Anything cool? Let's see. Brocade outer jacket. No, no, no. One of these days I'm going to have to mod this game. So that I can get some on point. Let's see, what's your charisma there? Only 16? Come on now. Come on now. That may be new. Yellow combat jupon, ugly. What's our what's our best defense? All right? Yeah, brocaded outer jacket. Mm. All right, all right. You're useless to me. Oh, but you could probably repair my cloth armor, which is wrecked. Farewell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do all of that. No? I'd like to discuss the... Yeah, yeah. Satisfied? You won't convince... Forget it, then. No! Oh, Alright. Dang it. We don't have time for this. Oh, we're gonna do it again? Alright. God be with you. All the things. We're gonna haggle. I feel like the game on let's this... Let's talk about the pride. Alright, let's not well... be quite such a jerk face this time. Is this enough? More! Yeah, of course, more. There we go. Is this enough? Come now. See now, I knew... Alright, there we go. Now, Peter. I may have to research where Peter is. I'm, I'm a little confused. Tell you what. Real quick, I will pause. I'll research who is Peter in Sassau. And we'll try and figure out who that is. You're just a random priest. Just How a, are you, Henry? A charlatan. <laughs> huh. I know you. I know you from somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, okay, what? where do I know you from? What? Of course, my dream. You were in a boat made of bones, and I put a crown of thorns on your head. What does he train? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I don't care about your, your, your shenanigans. All right, we'll be back when I know who Peter is. All right, so we did some research. Did a little looking around, and apparently, I mean, I don't know who Peter is. I never found Peter. He's not mentioned anywhere. Whatever. However, they say, just do, you do you. Get in the barn, wait for the guy to show up at midnight, and uh, kick his butt, or talk to him, or do whatever you got to do, and they say hide right here, which I mean, this is where we were going to hide all along, because that makes total sense. So we're going to tango this to midnight, because, you know, things, oh, we're going to be tired, that's okay. I'm curious, is there a hold on, let's 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 do a quick load. Is there a place to sleep in this barn? We could pass that time and get our energy back. Probably not. Oh, oh, this is going crazy. It's like I don't like it when you stop me. We got it. Mr. Paycar. Halt. Holy what cow. Are you doing here? Had to For run that. God's sake. You'll wake the whole monastery. That's the point. Silence. For God's sake, I caught you in the middle of an assassination attempt. Assassination? What are you on about? You told me to my face you were here purely for business. That Master Kieser had no reason to fear you. And then I catch you sneaking up to his door. Kieser? He's living here in the monastery. Well, yes. Right here in this house. What's your business here? It's all a terrible mistake. 
have a long-standing arrangement with the custodian here, Sir Sebastian von Berg. I supply him with salt and spices. And I've come to realise how he's been cheating me repeatedly. The dispute's been running for a while and still has legs. So I wanted my money back, that's all. I've no quarrel with Conrad. Hmm. I don't believe a word you say. I, well, sorry, but I'm telling the truth. I suppose there's nothing to be done about it, unless you intend to skewer me on the spot. But if it will help you sleep better, I'll stop creeping around here at night and find some other way to deal with the custodian. Good luck to you. Interesting. Okay. Do we think that's it? Let's see. Let's look. Talk to Conrad. All right, you little bastard. I'll close that door just in case. They're after me, damn it. Oh, he's still awake at midnight, huh? Well, did you find anyone? I did. And? You needn't fear. I kept watch the whole night and nothing happened. A few folk passed by, but nobody dangerous. And what about Pekka? Are you saying he has no malicious intentions? None. He's just doing some trade with the custodian. That's what brought him to where you were. Well, if you're sure. But I'd still rather lie low for a while. No time. Go to Townburg. You'll be surrounded by a whole garrison there. Yes. Yes, I suppose that does make sense. Uh, thank you, Henry. I'm in your debt. We'll meet at Talmberg. All right, and there we go. Are you going to go now? Sweet. <laughs> well, we're going to go to sleep for the rest of the night. <laughs> 50% comfort. There we go. Not a do. Well, that's where we're going to end tonight. Uh, today's uh, video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the, the walkthrough on these two quests. Getting through uh, or, or finding uh, the the engineer that can can build our trebuchet for the Talmberg siege. Uh, we're going to keep pushing forward on this. Try and go to Ujit next and all that. But this has been a well, it feels like it's been long. We'll see. But uh, that'll be the end of this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you see. Give me a thumbs up. And, uh, yeah, come check out the Ammo Discord. We would love to have you come play some games with us, some of the multiplayer games that we play. And I'll see you in the next one. See you later. A well-chosen site. You want to strike the gate, do you? True. You don't want to do more damage than necessary. I quite understand. Sir Toth is holed up there, is he? Just so, Master Conrad. I hear you have some accounts to settle with him. Ah, not entirely. I've done with him. Sigismund trusted him more than me in his campaign against the Ottomans. And we all know how that ended up. Uh, how did it end up? Badly, my lord. The flower of French knighthood was slain there. Sigismund fled for his life. And I did too, I must confess. Be assured we shall not make the same mistake here. We do not intend to starve them into submission, but to break down the gate. I am at your service, my lords. We will build the trebuchet quickly. It will be ready in a matter of days. And I can supply, for example, Roquetta to sweep the foe from the battlements. Roquetta? I do not believe I've heard of such a term. Roquetta are missiles filled with black powder with a touch hole at the bottom to ignite it. They shoot forward, something like a hand cannon, but without rocks. The rocket is the missile. I see. But we don't have black powder in these parts. Nor cannon. Indeed. It should have occurred to me. But I am very fond of Roquetta, and I always think what Alexander the Great might have accomplished with them. 
I understand. We find ourselves in a conventional situation that demands a conventional solution. I'm still hoping that Toth will see sense and parley with us. He may well do so, especially when we set up the trebuchet on his doorstep. So one last thing. Paycar. <laughs> this dude. He showed up here. And he tried to kill Conrad. How nuts is that? Anyway, I was not anticipating that. God bless you. What troubles you? I came to an agreement with Comrade. He's already here. You wouldn't believe how clever that fellow is. Now we really will build that trebuchet. That I guarantee you. Just one thing. If he should send you somewhere and tell you to give some password about a fox or some such, well, you should take it with a grain of salt. Password? Fox? Uh, all right. I'll bear it in mind. Glad I could be of service. I'm truly grateful to you. And the men will be too when the assault starts. Fine work. You've certainly saved many lives. I probably shouldn't, but... Go and have a look in my trunk. You might find something there you can use. Thank you. <laughs>